Moses Schreiber, known to his own community and Jewish posterity in the Hebrew translation as Moshe Sofa, also known by his main work Shatam Sofa, Chatham Sofa or Hatem Sofa, was one of the leading Orthodox rabbis of European Jewry in the first half of the 19th century. He was a teacher to thousands and a powerful opponent to the reform movement in Judaism, which was attracting many people from the Jewish communities in Austria, Hungary and beyond. As Rav of the city of Pressburg, he maintained a strong Orthodox Jewish perspective through communal life, first-class education, and uncompromising opposition to reform and radical change. Sofa established a yeshiva in Bratislava, the Pressburg Yeshiva, which became the most influential yeshiva in Central Europe, producing hundreds of future leaders of Hungarian Jewry. This yeshiva continued to function until World War II. Afterward, it was relocated to Jerusalem under the leadership of the Chasim Sofa's great-grandson, Rabbi Akiva Sofa. Sofa published very little during his lifetime. His posthumously published works include more than a thousand responsa, novelle on the Talmud, sermons, biblical and liturgical commentaries, and religious poetry. He is an oft-quoted authority in Orthodox Jewish scholarship. Many of his responsa are required reading for semicha candidates. His Torah Chidashim sparked a new style in rabbinic commentary, and some editions of the Talmud contain his emendations and additions. Early years Moses Sofa was born in Frankfurt in Maine, on September 24, 1762, during the Seven Years' War. His father's name was Shmuel and his mother's name was Razel, the daughter of El Chanan. Shmuel's mother, Riz Chen, was a daughter of the Gaon of Frankfurt, Rabbi Shmuel Shotten, known as the Marsha Shoch, his namesake. Education. At the age of nine, Sofa entered the yeshiva of Rabbi Nathan Adler at Frankfurt, a Kabbalist known for his strict and unusual ritual practices. At the age of 13, Sofa began to deliver public lectures. His knowledge was so extraordinary that Rabbi Pinches Horowitz of Frankfurt asked him to become in his pupil. He agreed, but remained under Rabbi Horowitz for only one year, and left in 1776 for the yeshiva of Rabbi David Tebelshoyer in the neighboring city of Mainz. There he studied under its Rosh Yeshiva Rabbi Mechel Shoya, son of Rabbi Tebel, during the years 1776 and 1777 until he yielded to the entreaties of his former teachers in Frankfurt and returned to his native city. In Mainz many prominent residents took an interest in his welfare and facilitated the progress of his studies. In addition to his vast Talmudist knowledge, he was also proficient in astronomy, geometry, and history. First positions and marriage. In 1782 Rabbi Nathan Adler was called to the rabbinate of Boscovice, Moravia and so for followed him. He went, at Rabbi Adler's advice, to Prostehov, Moravia. There on 6 May 1787 Sofa married Sarah, the daughter of Rabbi Moses Jerwitz, the late rabbi of Prostehov. Sofa became a member of the Shebra Kaddisha and eventually became head of the yeshiva in Prostehov. In 1794, Sofa accepted his first official position, becoming rabbi of Stra's niece. After he had procured the sanction of the government to settle in that town, in 1797 he was appointed rabbi of Mattersdorf, one of the seven communities of Bergenland. There he established a yeshiva, and pupils flocked to him. His prime pupil in Mattersdorf was the future Gaon Rabbi Mirash, rabbi of Azhorid, Pressburg. Sofa declined many offers for the rabbinate, but in 1806 accepted a call to Bratislava, Austrian Empire. There he established a yeshiva, which was attended by as many as 500 pupils. Hundreds of these pupils became the rabbis of Hungarian Jewry. Among them were second marriage and children. Sofa's first wife Sarah died childless on the 22nd of July 1812. In 1812, he married for the second time to Sarah, the widowed daughter of Rabbi Akiva Eger, Rav of Poznan. 
She was the widow of Rabbi Avraham Moshe Kalisha, Rabbi of Pila, the son of Rabbi Yehuda Kalisha, author of Heod Hachazoka. With his second wife, Sofa had three sons and seven daughters. All three of his sons became rabbis. Avraham Shmuel Binyamin Sofa, Shimon Sofa, who became the Rav of Krakow, and Joseph Yusper Sofa. Sofa's descendants named their works after the Hebrew translation of Schreiber, Sofa's civil surname. Along the lines of Sofa's work, Chasim Sofa, as, for instance, Michtiv Sofa, KTAV Sofa, the Shevet Sofa, the Chasan Sofa, the Yad Sofa the Das Sofa, the Cheshev Sofa and Imre Sofa. Sofa and his family lived at the end of Zamuka Street, where the Hotel Ibis is now located. Influence against changes in Judaism. Sofa led the community of Pressburg for 33 years until his death in 1839. It was his influence and determination that kept the reform movement out of the city. From the late 18th century onwards, movements which eventually developed into Reform Judaism began to develop. Synagogues subscribing to these new views began to appear in centers such as Berlin and Hamburg. Sofa was profoundly opposed to the Reformers and attacked them in his speeches and writings. For example, in a responsum of 1816, he forbade the congregation in Vienna to allow a performance in the synagogue of a cantata they had commissioned from the composer Ignaz Moscheles, because it would involve a mixed choir. In the same spirit, he contested the founders of the Reformschule in Posseny, which was established in the year 1827. For Sofa, Judaism as previously practiced was the only form of Judaism acceptable. In his view, the rules and tenets of Judaism had never changed, and cannot ever change. This became the defining idea for the opponents to reform, and in some form, it has continued to influence the orthodox response to innovation in Jewish doctrine and practice. Sofa applied a pun to the Talmudist term Chadashe Sur Min HaTorah, new, is forbidden by the Torah, as a slogan heralding his opposition to any philosophical, social or practical change to customary orthodox practice. He did not allow the addition of any secular studies to the curriculum of his Pressburg Yeshiva. Universal Israelite Congress The Universal Israelite Congress of 1868-69 in Pest was influential in affecting the direction of Judaism in Europe to try to unify all streams of Judaism under one constitution. The Orthodox offered the Shulchan Arush and surrounding codes as the ruling code of law and observance. The reformists dismissed this notation and in response, many orthodox rabbis resigned from the Congress to form their own social and political groups. Hungarian Jewry split into two major institutionally sectarian groups, orthodox and neolage. Some communities refused to join either of the groups and called themselves status quo, actions of students and descendants. Sofa's most notable student Moshe Shik, together with Sofa's sons, the rabbis Shimon and Samuel Benjamin, took an active role in arguing against the reform movement. They showed relative tolerance for heterogeneity within the Orthodox camp. Others, such as the more zealous rabbi Hillel Lichtenstein, supported a more stringent position in Orthodoxy. Rabbi Moshe Shik demonstrated support in 1877 for the separatist policies of Rabbi Samson Raphael Hirsch in Germany. His son Moshe Shik studied at the Hildesheimer Rabbinical Seminary, which taught secular studies and was headed by Azrael Hildesheimer. Hirsch, however, did not reciprocate. He was surprised at what he described as Schick's Herluckic contortions in condemning even those status quo communities that clearly adhered to Halakha. Hillel Lichtenstein opposed Hilda Scheimer and his son Hirsch in their speaking German to give sermons and their tending toward modern Zionism. In 1871 Shimon Sofa, chief rabbi of Krakow, founded the Magzik Zai Hard as organization with the Shasidic rabbi Joshua Rocky Chabels. 
This was the first effort of Haredi Jews in Europe to create a political party. It was part of the developing identification of the traditional orthodoxy as a self-defined group. Rabbi Shimon was nominated as a candidate to the Polish regional parliament under the Austrian emperor of Franz Joseph. He was elected to the, the Polish club, in which he took active part until his death. Another notable group is Satma, which was founded by Rabbi Moshe Tatielbaum, who was a Shasid who paid homage to the Chasim Sofa and had similar views to that of Rabbi Hillel Lichtenstein. His descendant Rabbi Joel Tatielbaum headed the Edar Chedis for many years, living in Israel and later in the United States, where he influenced Orthodox Jewry. Starting in 1830, about 20 disciples of Sofa settled in Palestine, almost all of them in Jerusalem. They joined the old Yeshav, which comprised the Musta Arabim, Sephardim and Ashkenazim. They also settled in Seft, Tiberias and Hebron. Together with the Perashim and Hasidim, they formed an approach to Judaism reflecting those of their European counterparts. Notable disciples of the Pressburg Yeshiva who had major influence on mainstream orthodoxy in Palestine were Rabbi Yosef Haim Sonnenfeld and Rabbi Yitzchok Yerushim Diskin, who together in 1919 founded the Edar Hacheridis in then Mandate Palestine. In 1932 Sonnenfeld was succeeded by Rabbi Yosef Dzvi Dushinsky, a disciple of the Shevet Sofa, one of Sofa's grandchildren. Dushinsky founded the Dushinsky Hasidic dynasty in Israel based on Sofa's teachings, death and burial place. Sofa died in Pressburg on October 3, 1839. Today, a modern Jewish memorial, containing Sofa's grave and those of many of his associates and family, is located in Bratislava. It is situated underground below Bratislava Castle at the left bank of the Danube. The nearby tram and bus stop is named after him. The preservation of these graves has a curious history. The Jewish cemetery in Bratislava was confiscated during the regime in 1943 to build a roadway. Negotiations with the regime enabled the community to preserve the section of the cemetery including Sofa's grave, enclosed in concrete, below the surface of the new road. The regime complied, possibly as a consequence of a large bribe, foreign pressure, or for fear of a curse if the graves were destroyed. Following the declaration of independence by Slovakia in 1992, new negotiations were undertaken to restore public access to the preserved graves. In the mid-1990s, the International Committee for Preservation of Grave Sites Agioni Pressburg was formed to support and oversee relocation of tram tracks and building of a mausoleum. Construction of the mausoleum was completed after overcoming numerous technical and religious issues and opened on July 8, 2002. Access to the mausoleum can be arranged through the local Jewish community organization, Legacy. Many synagogues and yeshivas worldwide bear the name and follow the legacy of the Chatham Sofa. Earl or yeshiva and community the most notable living descendant and heir to the Sofa legacy is Rabbi Yochanan Sofa. Yochanan is a direct descendant and fifth generation to the Chatham Sofa. He is the leader of the Erlor movement whose progenitor was his grandfather Rabbi Shimon Sofa or Erlor, a grandson of the Chatham Sofa, and son of the KTAV Sofa. Yochanan's father, Rabbi Moshe Sofa and grandfather Rabbi Shimon perished in the Holocaust together with most of their families. After the Holocaust, Rabbi Yochanan refounded the Chasim Sofa Yeshiva in Pest together with Rabbi Moshe Stern and his brother Avraham Shmuel Binyamin. He then returned to Agur to re-establish his grandfather's Yeshiva. In 1953 he founded his own Yeshiva in Katmand, Jerusalem as well as the Institute for Research of the Teachings of the Chasim Sofa. The Institute researches and deciphers handwritten documents penned by the Chasim Sofa, his pupils and descendants and has printed hundreds of Sferim. Over the years, Rabbi Yochan and founded many synagogues, Chedram and Kololim, which he named after his ancestors. 
The Ezra Torah campus in Jerusalem is named Beth Chasim Sofa, as is the Erlor Synagogue in Haifa. The Chedram are named Talmud Torah Ksav Sofa after the Chasim Sofa's son. The Kololim and Synagogues are named Yad Sofa after Rabbi Yochanan's father and the main yeshiva campus in Katamon is named Ol Shimon Mirlor after his grandfather. He has authored numerous Torah commentary works, naming them Imre Sofa. The Elor community is considered Hasidic style, though strictly follows Ashkenaz customs as did the Chasim Sofa. It has branches in Jerusalem, Beni Brak, Beta Elit, Elad, Haifa, Ashdod and Borough Park. The Pressburg Yeshiva of Jerusalem The Pressburg Yeshiva of Jerusalem is a leading yeshiva located in the Givat Shul neighborhood of Jerusalem, Israel. It was founded in 1950 by Rabbi Akiva Sofer, a great-grandson of Rabbi Moses Sofer, who established the original Pressburg Yeshiva in the Austrian-Hungarian Empire in 1807. As of 2009, update, the Rosh Yeshiva is Rabbi Simcha Bunam Sofa. The Yeshiva building includes a Yeshiva Ketana, Yeshiva Gedala, and Kolil. The main base Medrash doubles as a synagogue where some neighborhood residents also pray on Shabbat. The complex also includes a general neighborhood synagogue which functions as Givat Shul's main music Ashkenaz synagogue. Chase and Sofa Yeshiva, New York The Chase and Sofa Yeshiva in New York is a very well-known yeshiva, and considered the American yeshiva of the Chasim Sofa legacy. It was founded by Rabbi Shmuel Ehrenfeld who was born and raised in Mattisdorf, Austria. His parents were Rabbi Simcha Bunim Ehrenfeld, Rav of Mattisdorf, and Rebetzer Gittel Kraus. His paternal grandfather, Rabbi Shmuel Ehrenfeld, was the eldest grandson of the Chasim Sofa. Rabbi Shmuel was rabbi of Mattersdorf from 1926 until 1938 when the congregation was dispersed by the Nazis. He escaped to America and immediately re-established the Chase and Sofa Yeshiva in the Lower East Side, from where it was later relocated to Boro Park. After his death he was succeeded by his son, Rabbi Simcha Bunim Ehrenfeld. The yeshiva currently enrolls over 400 students in kindergarten through 12th grade and operates a Head Start program and rabbinical seminary. Chug Chasim Sofa, BNEI Brak During the 1950s and 1960s many synagogues in Israel were built by Hungarian Jewry and named Chug Chasim Sofa. This network of synagogues were founded in Tel Aviv, Bnei Brak, Jerusalem, Petach Tikva, Haifa and Netanya. These synagogues still operate but have been integrated into the larger community with no distinct character of their own. Besides for that of Bnei Brak founded by Rabbi Yitzchak Shlomo Ungar and that of Petach Tikva founded by Rabbi Shma Yehu Deutsch, Rabbi Ungar. A descendant of the Chasim Sofa founded a yeshiva named Makni Avraham and a kashrut organization named Chug Chasim Sofa which are both very active and well known. After Rabbi Ungar's passing in 1994 the yeshiva appointed Rabbi Altman as rabbi and Rosh Yeshiva, with Rabbi Shmuel Eliezer Stern remaining the head of the kashrut organization. Pressburg Institutions of London The Pressburg Institutions in London, England are headed by a descendant of the Chasim Sofa, Rabbi Shmuel Ladmai, Dushinsky, Jerusalem The Dushinsky community considers itself a continuation of the Chasim Sofa dynasty, not by genealogy, but rather by school of thought. The founder of the Dushinsky dynasty was Rabbi Yosef Dzvi Dushinsky who was a disciple of Rabbi Simcha Bunam Sofer, the son of the Ksav Sofer at the Pressburg Yeshiva. The Dushinsky dynasty has been more integrated into the Shasidic community with many of their customs derived from New Zuch Seferd, but still remains true to the teachings of the Chasim Sofer. This is mainly due to Rabbi Yosef Dzvi appointments as chief rabbi of the Edar Hacheridus and the Dushinsky alignment with the teachings of Rabbi Joel Tatil Balm of Satmar.